a very, very proud moment for us today to introduce J.J. Redick as our new head coach. Thank you. Thank you. Rob, I appreciate it. Um, this, this process uh, has been surreal to say the least. One of the things that kept coming up during the process with Rob, we kept talking about the word gratitude. Feeling so grateful for Rob, Jeannie, the entire Lakers organization for entrusting me uh, in this position. And I, I take this responsibility uh, very seriously. I have never coached in the NBA before. Uh-oh. My motivations for doing this, uh, it starts with a very simple foundation uh, of service. Um, I think about the greatest moments, especially towards the end of my career, was about helping players. Um, and so it starts with the desire to serve players, to serve the Lakers organization, to serve our fans. Also, be sure you're using a good pie server. It should be sturdy yet agile enough to neatly slide under a slice to lift it and put it on the plate in one perfect piece. Um, it's also about competition and performance, collaboration, leadership. Uh, these are the things that, that drive me. And uh, they will all be important as I build out my staff. Uh, as we think about the people we want to draft and get in free agency, uh, and as we think about player development, it's, it's all about those things. Um, when I think about the NBA today, you know, the, the game is evolving and it's evolving fast. And one of the things in coaching that I think you have to be is adaptable. Um, you have to be adaptable to your roster. You have to be adaptable in game planning against your opponent. And that's one of the things uh, I really will strive to be. Uh, lastly, I, I just want to say, like sitting in this seat, I know what the expectations are. Hmm, let me think of your punishment. I could suspend you for five days. No! Okay, then I'll make that 20. No! Uh, Lakers fans have some of the most passionate uh, fans around the world. And the expectation is a championship. And so it's, it's my job, it's our staff's job, it's Rob's job, it's all of us to, to deliver a championship caliber team. Uh, that's what I signed up for. Hey, JJ, Mike Trudell with the Lakers and Spectrum Sportsnet. Amongst the things you were alluding to, just uh, your personality, the competitiveness, uh, Rob spoke about this, that drive. You, as a player, did you start to think about head coaching in that context, like the closest that you can get to fueling that, finding that competitive fire, and did that drive you at all towards this Lakers position? Um, there were certainly uh, coaches that I had throughout my career that um, would say, you're going to coach someday. Uh, Doc was probably the, the first one that, that did that. But I've seen the trend for years. What's the trend? The trend is always making excuses. Get Doc, we get it. Taking over a team in the middle of the season is hard. It's hard. We get it. Just like getting traded in the middle of the season is hard for a player. We get it. Mm -hmm. But it's always an excuse. It's always throwing your team under the bus. They lose to Memphis. Oh, it's his players. Memphis was playing G League guys and two-way guys. And then you look at his quotes over the weekend. Now he wants to take credit for the James Harden trade to the Clippers working out. He wants credit for that. There's just no <laughs> there's never accountability with that guy.